here on while they're in there. <laughs> Did they have to break that form? Yeah, so there's stock stuff, but then you can oh, augment it. Yeah, it yeah. yeah. so it's just like ready for it. Yeah, okay. Oh, yeah, that's good. That's what I thought of when I first was in the Yeah, exactly that. Yeah, for now. Yeah, and everybody gets absorbed with this. And that's the end of the story. Right. You gotta come out uh, at least once a week. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so I call it the Hollywood because I'm trying to basically like uh, preserve all of this art that was done for all these productions in Hollywood because I've worked in the art department for thirty years and what I came to find is that when a movie's done, they'll take a few key pieces to use, like a producer will hang one in his house or they'll, you know, put one in a in a production company. A lot of those ends up in the garbage. And it's some of the most amazing artwork ever done. No, it's not. <laughs> it's true. Yeah, it's true. So what I started doing is, uh, you know, collecting stuff and, and then, you know, obviously taking my own work home at the end of movies and then my friends would joke when I had a bunch of it they're like you should have your own museum then I realized I actually wanted to have a museum and show people all of this art and someday I will have like a physical brick and mortar one but it's so far away there's so much involved logistically in location and insurance but then the guys at Santa are like you know it would be cool if you had a virtual version where you can still show all the art but everyone in the world can come visit so that's what we're working on this is our first exhibit and uh, I'm really excited to show this stuff because, especially with uh, The Last Jedi coming out, because the artwork you're looking at here in this room, the very first artwork ever done for Star Wars. This is all done by Colin Cantwell uh, in some of the first meetings with Lucas when he was just writing the script and it had some weird name like the Star Wars uh, Ender Scrolls. And Kenobi or I don't know, <laughs> but um, and he didn't have names of ships and and there was like Star Killer instead of Skywalker and but uh, he knew he wanted to have these dog fights so he had Colin just design these uh, ships and Colin was the one that actually named them X wings and Y wings and Tie fighters these drawings and paintings on the wall are the very first images ever created for Star Wars.